Ita Taki Mask. What's up? It's your boy Kuen Yang. Right now we're at Kuen Mania, which is a Toy Python place in Awanto Katong. I don't know how the ramen's gonna be like, but let's check it out. Okay, so we've got this bowl of ramen right here in front of us. This is the Tori Fest ramen, which consists of the chicken chashu as well as the chicken sukiyaki cubes, as well as a flavor dip, and you know, the basic ramen. So, as you can tell, this broth right here is a Tori Pai Thai. It's quite light, as you can tell. So, let's just have a taste of it. Slightly underwhelming. Like the Tori Python is supposed to be flavorful. So it's supposed to be a rather rich broth. But this is slightly on the lighter side. So if you like shoyu or like shio, I think this might be the one for you. But let's try the noodles. Let's see how the noodles are like. Maybe the noodles have been placed in soup for too long, but it's not as firm as I want it to be. But I think it's pretty good noodles. Uh, it, does, and it, it actually kind of gets the so called flavor from the soup itself. So let's try the other stuff like the chicken chashu and as well as the chicken sukiyaki cubes. So just have her. Okay, the chicken is pretty tough. It's in the broth for quite a while, so it's not dry, but it's still pretty tough. And it's not like your normal chashu. Uh, normal chashu is very tender. It can't fall off, and you really didn't, you don't need like chopsticks to like really bite it off. But for this chicken chashu, you actually kind of do need to bite it off, which is kind of a disappointment for me. And finally, we have the chicken sukiyaki cubes. So, as you can tell, as compared to the chicken chashu, these are not like braised in in like to show you and all that. This is just pretty much normal chicken to me at first glance, anyway. So let's try this out. Okay, this is definitely easier to chew. Easier to really get a feel of the chicken, and it's lacking flavor. It is not much seasoning. It's just okay. So I think overall this bowl isn't that great. Lastly, we have the flavored egg, which I would usually say for the last, but just for review sake, let's just try it out right now. Okay, so um, the egg is the egg is actually not bad. It's flavored properly. But it's, as you can tell, the yolk inside, the yolk inside is okay. It's not in those really, really runny ones. But for an egg, I think this will really not be that bad. It's, it's okay. I think this whole bowl itself is okay. But if anything stands out, I really think it's the egg for some reason. Because I think it's flavored properly. And there's that runny yolkiness as well. So this egg is fine. But the rest might need some working on, I guess. Like the chashu needs to be less. Oh, the chashu here. Give me a while. Yeah, the chashu here needs to be less uh, tough. Yeah, yeah, it has to be just more tender. And the noodles itself, I think, yeah, fine. Like, you really can't go wrong with noodles. If you go wrong with noodles, I don't think you should be opening a ramen shop, but you know, just saying. Okay, so right here with the chicken car again, which is about 480 for four pieces. I think that's fine. But, at first glance, it doesn't look like it's really good because it's very light. Like, you can, you can tell there's this very light color right here of the chicken car again. So, it's not like your normal chicken karage, where your normal chicken karage is way much more darker than this. But that doesn't necessarily mean the taste is bad. So let's just try it out.
honestly, it tastes as bad as it looks. Because it's not seasoned properly. And there's barely any crunch to it. Maybe it's because we left it out for quite a while. But, like, there still isn't any crunch to it. I would expect some crunch even after it being left out for quite a while. But, this is a little mediocre, honestly. It's not, a, it's not great, I wouldn't order this again. So, it's a no from me. Yeah. It's probably one of the blenders targets I've ever had. Yeah. There's <laughs> almost zero taste, zero crunch. The skin is very, very soft, which is quite weird for a karage. Uh, it's quite bad. Yeah. I'll give it like a 4 of 10. So, Quang Yang, what are your final thoughts about Korean India? Oh, honestly, it was an okay book, I mean. I think there are some plus points, definitely. I think the flavoured egg, as well as the chicken cubes. I think chicken cubes were quite tender. And I know, I think you will agree, right? Definitely. Uh, but the chicken chashu and the soup itself, I think those are things that can be improved on. And the noodles might be subjected to uh, really personal preference. But I think me and Lino both agree that it's a bit too soft. And it kind of tastes like ban mian. So, yeah, I think they should change that. But overall, I'll give it like maybe a 6 out of 10. 6.5. Yeah, somewhere along those lines. Well, this has been Food Foundations reviewing Korea Mania. We'll see you guys in the next episode. See you.